Um, I mean, I think they've been willing. Um, they've been willing. Uh, that's one of the things I appreciate um, about this group um, is that they don't mind working, you know. Uh, but obviously, uh, we need to continue to create that chemistry and uh, cohesion because uh, there's a lot of new faces, you know. As you said, guys coming from different walks of life in different places, man. But um, at the end of the day, we got to find the right five, you know, and, and put them in the right spots. And there's been a lot of uh, cross training with guys, guys playing center and guards, guys playing guard and tackle. And uh, we're still in the evaluation process trying to see what's the right mix, you know. But um, I appreciate the guys' work and effort. You know, we just got to continue to be attention to detail with everything. You also have some guys who are coming back from injuries. So how much do you kind of ease them into it as you get going here? Yeah, um, I have. Uh, you know, it's kind of uh, predicated on, on the training staff as well as that particular player and how they feel, you know. Um, I think that's going to be uh, the biggest key for us this season is just staying healthy. I know a bunch of guys got injured um, on the on the old line with this uh, group last year, you know. So uh, we just got to be smart um, in everything that we're doing. And, uh, man, if we can stay healthy, uh, we got a chance to do some good things, I feel. Marcus has been working at Taco. How's he dealt with that transition? Um, he's done a nice job. Um, he's done a nice job, you know. Uh, but you know, even for him, he's he's a he's a talented in individual. But uh, he's going to need those game reps, you know. Game is kind of a little different than practice, man. But um, I, I think he's accepted the challenge. Um, I think he wants that challenge. To be honest with you, and the thing I like about Bo is uh, he's you know some guys that are afraid to take chances, and he's not. You know what I mean? And um, I can live with that. I always tell guys, man, when you, when you step on that field, make a full speed decision. Whether you're right or wrong, once you made, made that decision, just be decisive and live with it and, and don't second guess yourself. And I think he's, uh, he displays that type of mentality, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's going to take game reps for him to get comfortable with it just because he's been so used to guard. But uh, he has the ability uh, to get it done at tackle. Yeah, he got a fair amount of accolades at the end of last season. How did you see him handle that and some of the notoriety that came for him last season? Uh, he's uh, matured. He has matured since I've been here. You know, we've had uh, several conversations, and, you know, uh, we always talk about to who much is given, much is expected, you know, from a talent and ability. These guys giving him a great amount of ability and talent. So it's a lot of uh, uh, high expectations for him, you know what I mean? But um, I think he's matured um, since I've been here in these five, six months, and he's going in the right direction, you know. I'm excited about his future. You know, but I think the biggest thing with him, man, don't 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 look too far ahead. Just take it one day at a time, and uh, trust the process. How far along is, is Gus? Is he gonna be ready to go when you get? So I have no clue. That's a that's a training room question. I honestly have no no clue. Um, I don't worry about guys with injury. My job is to to get the guys to show up on the field. You know, and practicing on game day, get them to be the best of their ability. So. Uh, right now, I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. I'm just trying to get the guys that we have right now going in the right direction, you know. And like I tell those guys, it doesn't matter. When your name's called, that's, that's why to me it's important. Uh, whether you're a third team, fourth string guy, you don't know. You, you're still three plays away, four plays away from being in a football game. And once you cross those white lines, nobody cares, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's about results, you know. Uh, so I just try to keep my mind and attention on the guys to step on the field each and every day. Can you take us back to the process that landed you at Purdue? I mean, it was pretty quick in the works. Um, like, so. Yeah, um, you know, uh, Coach Walters and I, uh, we, we go back to uh, 2020 at uh, Mizzou. You know, uh, we had a great relationship back then, and I think he saw um, a difference in that group and the product that was um, put on the field when I got to Mizzou. And uh, we maintained a relationship once he left Mizzou. And, uh, you know, for me, uh, um, I wanted this opportunity for one because I'm, I'm good friends with him, you know what I mean? And and uh, this is his first big opportunity as a, as a big time head coach and I want to be a part of this thing, you know? So to me, I'm, I'm big on relationships and I think he, his relationship, our relationship had a lot to do with me getting here. Not only him, but Coach Haley. Coach Haley is like a, an uncle to me, you know? And even uh, we, we was going through the airport and uh, in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, somebody thought he was my dad and thought I was a player and said, I bet you're a proud father. He, if you know him, you know he ran with it. Uh, but, but I'm close to Coach Haley, Coach O'Brien. 
Um, all those guys, essentially all those guys on defense because they were the guys that was at Mizzou my first year. We just maintained great relationships, and that was a big, huge, huge reason uh, for me coming here. As you've uh, kind of taken over here and, and developed these guys, what is the attitude you want this unit to have? Man, Coach Walter said it every day, competitive, tough, discipline. If we be a competitive, tough, disciplined group, we got a chance to do some really good things around here. And I'm fired up about it. And uh, I think it's just as simple as that. You know, stick to the motto day in and day out, and, and we'll be fine. Do you feel like you have kind of an undisputed leader? Or is it sort of a by committee situation? Uh, from a leadership standpoint, uh, again, um, I think, you know, you look at guys that have been here. You know what I mean? That are on the field right now. They're young guys. They play some ball, and then you got some veteran guys that come from different places. They're still learning their way around the locker room and culture. You know, so uh, I think we're still developing uh, leadership. You know what I mean? Is what I would say. Um, and I will say, uh, uh, give Gus great credit. I think he does a great job uh, when he does come out on the field with us. It's encouraging guys, uh, supporting guys, help helping me coach those guys. So. Um, it's great when you got an older veteran guy like that in the room that's played a lot of ball, you know. You mentioned the cross training. Just how impressed are you with the depth of this, especially with what this team had in the, the spring to now? Uh, a lot more dudes, a lot more bodies, and then the ability to switch from a guard to a tackle or whatever it might be where, you know, to fill in some spots. Yeah, I think depth is a, a, a huge, huge thing when it comes to football. And I'm the type, I tell guys, just because you've you, – First, when you find your right five, um, it's my job to find the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth best guy, right? So I tell guys, just because you've the, been the backup, let's say left tackle, for two months, three months on the field, that doesn't mean you're necessarily the next one going in the game, because you might be the 10th best. I ain't trying to put the 10th best in, I want to put the, the sixth best in. So whether that means me moving a guy, from left guard to tackle and the backup right guard in, inserting him to left guard, uh, whatever it takes to me, whatever it takes. And, you know, the thing about it is, is, is I try to put those guys in those positions. You know, they may not necessarily get it during a team versus defense, but, you know, I try to put those guys in those situations uh, against the D-line and one-on-one -on -one pass rush or pods. Uh, for instance, just like today, um, you know, uh, uh, we had some guys that, that were nicked up, banged up. Um, I told Preston, hey, let's go out to left tackle, you know what I mean? And he looked like he'd been there before. Because we might get caught in that situation this year where we, he, he may have to go out to left tackle. And I thought he handled that situation well today. And, you know, we got him some reps at left tackle and one-on-one -on -one pass rush the other day and then pods. So um, I think that's something that's always in the back of my mind is putting these guys in a certain situation before the game comes just so it's not their first time being in that situation, if that makes sense. So depth is a huge, huge thing, especially in the trenches, because we all know everybody ain't going to make it through an entire season healthy in the line of scrimmage, you know. I remember uh, um, my second year, uh, 2018 at uh, Mississippi State, 2019, excuse me, I had three centers that go, go down in the same game, and I had to end up putting a guy in that never snapped a ball a day in his life before. <laughs> that was a pretty scary feeling as an O-line <laughs> coach. You know, and then, then the next week, I had to train a D lineman to go in the game the, the next week to play like 30 plays at center. You know what I mean? And he had never played in the game before, but he had trained with me during the bowl uh, season that year. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's just so much goes into it, you know? So, you got to do whatever you got to do to get your, the right five on the field and, you know what I mean, train them up and, and kind of go from there. What was it like this offseason going out and finding guys in the portal that fit what you guys want to do and kind of just doing that as quickly as you could, but also finding guys that worked? Um, man, that portal is a, is a different animal. Um, for one, I just, you know, I think about a guy like uh, Bakeen, you know, a, a, a good friend of mine from Detroit, uh, reached out to me, told me he had this kid who was, you know, in the portal and he, he felt like I needed to take a chance on him and look at him. So I ended up going to a camp in Detroit and watch the young man move around. And I mean, he, he may be the most athletic guy in the group, right? But he's not, he's, he, he's, 
he's not his weight is not where it needs to be right now. But you're talking about a young man that's athletic and tough, you know. And and if you, you got those traits, you got a good chance. Uh, you know, a guy like uh, Ben Farrell, he's uh, played a lot of ball. You know what I mean? He's a versatile guy. He's played left tackle, right tackle, right guard for us to this point, man. So uh, I think the portal is important, but I think it's got to be the right mix that you get out that portal to make sure that they fit your culture as well, you know, because you don't want any guys that's a cancer on the team and in that locker room, which is, in my opinion, probably the most important thing in a, in a football program. How much is going up against this defensive front helped you guys, just the different looks that they give? And then has there any, been anyone that's kind of giving you guys trouble? It's a, it's a challenge every day. Um, it is. And uh, I think the, uh, the scheme, the system that they run is uh, pretty unique, you know. Uh, you got to win your one-on-one -on -one battle, you know. And uh, um, that's a tough situation with old linemen going one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, day in and day out, but the beauty of it is, is that it's going to make game day a little bit easier. You know what I mean? Because now we actually got combo blocks and guys helping each other and putting 600 pounds on people versus 300 pounds on people. You know, so um, it's a challenge with the defense from a standpoint that we we get to play on the island uh, for, for a lot of what we do offensively. But it's going to help make us better. And um, you know, you talk about those guys and who. Who challenges us? Uh, I would say Nick. Nick. Nick is a good football player. You know, KJ is a good football player. Um, who else? Cole. Big Cole. I mean, that's a, that's a big, solid man. You know what I mean? Um, so, I mean, they, they got some good players over there. And I thank God that they're on our team is what I would say. You know what I mean? And they make us better. Um, I always say iron sharpens iron. And to me, those guys over there got to be our best friends because they're going to make us get better day in and day out.